Okay, so we saw, uh, so this was the original graph of our P, right? We saw that, you know, derivative means the slope, right? So what does it mean? So if I move from my current position to the right, right? And if my slope goes up, right? Indirectly, it also means my derivative of that function is greater than zero, okay? And if I consider another point here, right? And if I go uh, up further in my value of p or x, whatever you call it in the, the independent variable, and this is my new value, and here you can see that the slope is actually going downward, right? In that case, I'll call my derivative to be less than zero. That means it's a negative slope, okay? So two scenarios. Now, what is the third scenario? The third scenario is that if I am at the peak value and the maximum value, right? Then in that case, even if I move little bit to the right or little bit to the left, but still my derivative is equal to zero. Okay. Now, does it always mean that, you know, that the, the derivative will be zero corresponding to the, you know, the most high value? No, because it your graph might also look something like this, right? And uh, here also, at this point, right, your uh, de derivative of your function can be zero. That means this is the minimum value, right? This is the minimum value. So, uh, we'll see that cons that uh, option as well as we, you know, move along the course. But just keep in mind, whenever we say the derivative is zero, that means even if you change your x value, there is no change in the y value. That is the bare minimum understanding from the concept of derivative. That means the slope there is zero. So there is no change in the function uh, even if you change the input values. So that is what is meant by derivative is equal to zero. Okay. So uh, remember our expression. Uh, which is p to the power 5, 1 minus p to the power 6. Now, what we want to find out is, what is the value of p for which uh, this expression is maximized, right? That is our main intention. This expression is maximized, all right? So, in that case, what we have to do is, we have to take the derivative of, also written like this as, you know, derivative this way, of this equation here p5 to the power p to the power 6 okay and we want to compute this to be is equal to 0 in order to find the parameter value of p so that this there is no change in the uh, slope or the slope is 0 uh, this d uh, uh, so from the notation perspective f dash which is single dash uh, is also equal to writing this way in this case all right okay so if this is the case so how do we solve this expression here d of dp because p is what it is going to change and we want to see at what point do we get the maximum value okay now before solving this problem uh, we need to know one rule from derivative and that is called uh, a few rules and uh, i'll just for the time being if you are already familiar with the uh, partial derivative concept, then go ahead and you know continue with this example. But uh, for the other viewers who don't know about partial derivative, in the subsequent video, I'm going to put a crash course on how to calculate these common derivatives. All right. Uh, okay. At this point of time, we know that this is the derivative of uh, two functions, right? So we can uh, calculate it this way. People who don't know yet uh, how to solve such derivative problems, so don't worry. The next video in our series will be explaining all these calculations and how do we come up with this rule, okay? But for the other viewers who already know how to calculate partial derivative, you, you can find it out that this looks something like this. p to the power of 5 times 6 of 1 minus p to the power 5 times minus 1, right? plus 1 minus p to the power 6 times 
5 times p to the power 4 right and this is equal to 0 because we want to calculate at what point or what value of p where my slope is, is equal to 0. Now what I can do from here is I can take p to the power 4 common right and I can also take 1 minus p to the power uh, 5 as a common term from both the expression and it will be equal to 5 times 1 minus p right and minus uh, I have 6 times yeah 6 times p right this is my expression and if I further calculate it p to the power 4 1 minus p to the power 5 times and if I calculate this this becomes 5 minus 11 p is equal to 0 okay so if I write this in my uh, another clear slide uh, what I would get is uh, p to the power 4 1 minus p to the power 5 and 5 minus 11 p equal to 0 okay now these are the product of three factors one factor two factor and three factor so let's consider them equally so can this be equal to 0 so that means whether p to the power 4 is equal to 0 then it implies p is equal to 0 and we know that p is the probability of getting heads but from our data set we saw that uh, we got some heads right uh, so that means uh, the probability of getting head is not equal to zero so that means this term cannot be zero at this point of time because we saw that some heads did appear there in our data set again the what can the second term be zero can this equal to zero in this case p will be equal to 1 so that means what I am saying is probability in uh, of getting head is 1 which means that all my data points I got a head but I remember in my data set I got 5 heads and 6 tails so that means th this is also not true right again this is this cannot be true so these two are like minimum values right minimum and minimum so these two are not uh, we did not get all zeros or we did not get all heads right so what we are left with is the last factor here which is 5 minus 11 p equal to 0 and this gives the probability of getting head is nothing but 5 over 11 and this is the exact same value uh, we got right remember when we did this manually so what we have accomplished so far although this was a lengthy process but what we have uh, achieved so far is a mathematical way to figure out the value of p so that i can maximize my uh, model or the pattern through which the data was generated right and this is a brilliant idea because and this is the general idea that we are going to continuously use uh, while we are doing machine learning right and these steps uh, is exactly what we are going to follow